you know, yeah. it was probably 745 and it, it was, was already kind of tapering off by yeah. then. Huh. So it was an early morning event, didn't really impact our day. And by the time Terrence got up, the sun was out, right? But we like it like that. Always. <laughs> we do, yeah. It came at a really convenient time yes. for a lot of us. Let's take a check now at our high temperatures. It's turned out to be a gorgeous day. A lot of us in the uh, low 70s for our highs. We made it to 70 degrees at O'Hare, 72 in Gary, 69 in Chicago Heights, 72 in Aurora, 74 in Morris, same thing in Kankakee, and 75 degrees in LaSalle. Here's where we're headed. So tomorrow's going to be the warmest day that we see for a little while. We're back up to near 80 degrees on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we're back down to the low 70s, which I know sounds like it's on the cooler side. But keep in mind, of course, it's October now. So your average high temperature sits at 68 degrees. We're pretty close to where we should be on Monday, upper 60s. And then another warming trend is going to be here by Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures beginning to stair step their way back up into the mid 70s by the middle of next week. And looking beyond that, so this is your temperature outlook from Thursday through the following Monday. So October 10th through the 14th. And we're still strongly favored to see above average conditions. So those temperatures likely holding steady in the 70s through most of next week, if not close to the 80s by the time we approach not this weekend, but next weekend. So that warm air is going to be sticking around your satellite and radar. Things are quiet for us now. Lots of sunshine. Again, we had that frontal boundary roll through last night. And then behind that is when we had the cloud cover, the rain that moved through this morning, but it's long gone. Future cast taking us throughout this evening and tonight. Some higher level clouds going to be possible but most of tonight is going to be mostly clear and we're waking up tomorrow morning in the low to mid 50s through the day tomorrow. Do you see the wind direction? So it's going to be changing to be out of the south southwest and it's going to be gusting as high as about 25 to 30 miles per hour, but that's going to bring in that warmer air mass. So your temperatures tomorrow again warming up to near 80 degrees. Then Saturday night into Sunday we have another frontal boundary that's going to cruise through here very quickly, but notice it's not really coming along with much in the way of cloud cover and as far as rain chance go they look slim to none so I think we stay dry as this cold front moves through Saturday night by Sunday morning we're waking up to temperatures in the 60s but we're only going to be warming up into the lower 70s either way that's really good for this time of the year we will be a bit breezy out of the northwest so that's keeping those temperatures down but either way it's going to be gorgeous for the Bears game on Sunday I think by kickoff at noon temperatures are likely going to be in the upper 60s Right now, here's the view. We have north northeasterly winds, 17 miles per hour, a temperature of 68. Tonight, we're dropping down to 55. Most suburbs going to be dropping down to the lower 50s, and we'll have mostly clear to partly cloudy conditions. Tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy, a high near 80. Sunday, 73 degrees, lots of sunshine expected, sunny skies on Monday, and we're just going to keep that rolling. Tuesday, sunny skies again, 71 degrees. We're up to 74 on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, still no rain in sight. So for those of you hoping for some rain, we're not seeing anything in the forecast for the next seven days. It's nothing but sunshine and those summer like temperatures are set to continue. Keep it here. We have more local news coming up.